Peace be with you, everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor. Very grateful to have you here. And I have a very special New Year's Eve video for you today. This is going to be a spray off challenge. I like to do one of these per month. And what a spray off challenge is, is where you do an eight seed tournament, selecting eight fragrances, lining their atomizers up against one another, allowing them to spray their distributions and effuse their scent in the air and whichever scent profile is dominant thereafter moves on to the next round. And the special theme of today's spray off challenge for New Year's Eve is I have selected eight fragrances from Robes 08's top recommendations for New Year's Eve fragrances both designer and niche. So these are going to be ones that I pulled from his list and I'm going to wear whichever one wins out today as my scent of the day for New Year's Eve tonight. So without further ado I'm going to introduce you to the contestants. We have Interlude Black Iris. This is the one that I am betting my money on to take the entire tournament today and they are going to be going up against Spice Bomb Eau de Toilette the original. So this will be the first seed of the tournament. Next we have Versace Oud Noir going up against Killian's Angel Share. This one is sure to be an interesting combination. Both are pretty warm spicy fragrances. Excited to see which one dominates over the other, whether the boozy cinnamon here or the dark woody spicy facets of Oud Noir. It's two fragrances named after a grand evening. This is Grand Soir from Mason Francis Kirk John. Very nice, sparkly, bright amber, easy to wear fragrance. And this one, Midnight in Paris from Van Cleef and Arpels. Sadly discontinued, slightly more leathery and dark version of Prada Luna Brosa black scent profile. So. These two will be going up in the third round. And finally, the final round, two of the most niche-like designer fragrances in the game right now. One sadly discontinued but still available, and the other one kind of unavailable but not discontinued in the UK. That is Dior Homme Parfum going up against Gucci Guilty Absolute. So this will be the fourth round of the tournament. So we're going to get things underway here. Okay, I've removed the caps from all of the fragrances, and here we go. We're going to be lining up Spice Bomb against Interlude Black Iris from Amouage. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, uh, definitely what I was anticipating, although I did think that Spice Bomb might be able to hold its own. It's got a very loud aroma chemical that designer fragrances tend to offer that give it really, really great projection. However, the bubblegum sweetness that this one tends to give off is utterly dominated by the dark, smoky facets of this fragrance right here. So. To no surprise, to me at least, Interlude Black Iris moving on to the next round. Okay, next we have Versace Oud Noir going up against Killian's Angel Share. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit closer, but Killian's Angel Share is really dominating the airspace. I can pick up hints of the Versace Oud Noir scent profile, but the silky texture of the sweet praline in here is really sort of what is standing out to me more so than anything else right now. So Killian's Angel Share moving on to the next round. Okay, this seems to be probably one of the more closer matchups. We'll have to find out if that's the case, but we've got Van Cleef and Arpels Midnight in Paris going up against MFK's Grand Soir. Let me make sure the atomizers are all prepared here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oop. Ah. <sighs> Okay, that is a little bit... Okay, that one is a little bit closer there, but I am going to have to give the winning to MFK's Grand Soir. Moving on to the next round. Okay, and the final round of the first seed of the tournament, we have Gucci Guilty Absolute going up against Your Own Parfum. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, ah, that smells really nice layered. I might have to try this out sometime. That's quite delectable. I really love the dark sort of oody facets that are in here and just the added leather that this is bringing to the already nice leathery accord in this is just really quite delicious in the air. But your own parfum moving on to the next round. Okay, so all three of the niche fragrances have moved on to the semifinals as well as Dior Homme Parfum, which is one of the most niche-like designer fragrances ever released. But here we go. In the semifinals here, we've got Interlude Black Iris from Amouage going up against Killian's Angel Share. Here we go. Three, two, one. That is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to give that one more shot here. Three, two, one. Honestly, big, big upset here, but Angel Share is... <sighs> yeah, the sort of silky praline in here is what I'm picking up in the air right now and missing the smoky iris that's going on here, which is an absolute real upset. There was no way I could have predicted that. <sighs> well... Now that the dust is settling a bit, I can kind of more pick up on the smoke. We'll go one more shot here, but definitely last one because I don't want to expend too much more juice out of the angel share here. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna have to give it to angel share. Really surprising. Definitely major upset there. Major upset. Okay, uh, so the last of the semifinal rounds. Grand Soir up against your own Parfum. Here we go. Three, two, one. This one I could have predicted, Dior Homme Parfum, without a shadow of a doubt, moving on. Okay, and here we go, finally. The final round and the deciding factor of my New Year's Eve scent of the evening. We have Killian's Angel Share up against Dior Homme Parfum. Let the dust settle from the last round real quick. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Very close, very close. The silky texture of the praline is still kind of lingering around in the air, but the overall scent profile and the winner of tonight's spray off challenge for scent of the evening. This is going to be Dior Homme Parfum. So go ahead and apply it now. And one underneath of the shirt. And that is the winner of the New Year's Eve Spray Off Challenge. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a blessed New Year and a wonderful 2024 moving forward. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of content you would like to see me putting out in the future for 2024. And as always, take care.